With my work, I like to visit and explore certain themes and certain iconography. I think a lot of times it comes from an intuitive standpoint, like with the heart hole, comes from a very, originally a personal perspective, now is kind of grown beyond that. It's just a really fun theme to explore. Also, I'm really interested in science and nature and kind of incorporating that into my artwork. It's just, it's fascinating to me, like the universe and science and aurora borealis, um, like the cycle of water and all those themes. So it's, I try to pay attention what comes intuitively for me and you know where that's where my passions will lie. When I'm creating my pieces and trying to come up with the ideas, sometimes I'll start from like I'll have an epiphany and have the title of the painting. But that doesn't happen too often. Normally, I'll kind of brainstorm with my sketches, and I, when I'm researching, I kind of I write down ideas and actually a lot of words too, like word association and kind of piecing together just ideas and, and feelings and seeing where that takes me. Because sometimes you get unexpected results from the word before you even start drawing, and then from there I do like rough doodles and just really loose, really tiny and small things and just to get the ideas of, of the images and, and then go from there. It's just a really fun theme to explore. Like I did this uh, painting series called The Weight of Water, just exploring the water molecules. In this series, it goes from um, liquid to solid to gaseous, how that cycle works where a water molecule will retain its integrity throughout all these different forms to still survive, you know, through these free freezing and melting and floating in the air. And I think that's a, a really nice analogy to, you know, to our personalities and our spirits and us in life, you know, we go through all these different phases and cycles. And also in kind of in science and nature in our atmosphere in earth and, and out in the cosmos it's it's just really fascinating to me dorothy circus gallery the the red walls i think it's really neat because it's not typical usually you know the galleries are just white walls and very pristine and i think the red gives it a really dramatic feeling somehow makes it more intimate like you're in this like salon, this like dark room, and it just feels like um, maybe more personal vibe. So hopefully with um, viewing my works on these walls that people can feel even closer and kind of like, yeah, just a more intimate setting. While I'm here in Rome, I'm going to be painting my first outdoor mural. I'm really excited about that. I know it's going to be a really awesome challenge, and it's great to put my artwork in a new environment, have it be seen publicly for who knows how long. I think it's really great that I get to explore the theme of water with that, because I just feel like it's so important. The oceans are so important, and there's so much pollution sometimes. A lot of the corporations that were just like, they're treating the planet like shit. <laughs> so hopefully I can impart something into the message, into my mural. Something that raises awareness, but also inspires, you know, hopefully enriches the neighborhood. Also something very beautiful to look at.